Today we're going to be making a classic baking treat. It's the kind of thing you'll find at an old-fashioned country bakery, maybe at a bake sale, mainly because this recipe, apart from being really, really simple to throw together, uses the most basic of ingredients, most of which you've almost certainly got in your kitchen right now. So let's have a go at making this beautiful strawberry jam crumble shortbread slice on the One Pot Chef. First things first, we're going to work on our shortbread dough. Now this is really, really simple, really, really basic ingredients. Into a mixing bowl, I've got two cups of regular plain all-purpose flour. Just normal flour, everyday thing, nothing too fancy. And to that, I'm going to add in two-thirds of a cup of regular white sugar. This is just normal, everyday granulated sugar. Again, nothing fancy. And I'm also adding in a pinch of salt. And just using a wooden spoon, we're just going to stir the flour, sugar and salt together until they're nicely combined. Next, I've made a little well, just a hole in the centre of our dry ingredients. And to that, I'm going to pour in 125 grams of unsalted butter, which I've just melted and allowed to cool. And just pour that in. And again, using our wooden spoon, we're just going to mix that together until we get a nice soft dough. There's really nothing to this, it's very easy. Using clean hands you can help bring this mixture together with your hands just like so. Now you can see how soft that is but if you pull it apart it's quite a crumbly. That's what we're looking for, something that you can press in like that. Perfect. Once we have our dough what I want you to do is take about a quarter of this mixture and set it aside. We're going to work on that in a few minutes and then we're going to use the rest to start putting our slice together. Here I've got a standard square cake pan about 8 inches or about 20 centimetres in size and I've lightly greased it and lined it with some non-stick baking paper making sure there's a long side on two sides. It makes it easy to lift the slice out when it's done. And we're going to transfer our dough mixture into the pan. And just using your fingers I just want you to press it out all the way to the edges and make it nice and smooth and even on top. Neat little trick is to use a flat bottom glass and just use that to press all over to make sure it's nice and even. Next we're going to take a fork and just using the prongs we're just going to make little indent marks across the surface of the dough. Now what this does is stops the dough from rising or doming when it bakes. Now you don't have to go all the way through the dough. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be a specific pattern because it's going to get all covered up in a minute anyway. Next we're adding in our jam. Now I've got one cup of strawberry jam but you can use any flavour jam you like. You could use raspberry or blackberry, blueberry, apricot, whatever jam you like. And just using the back of a spoon we're just going to spread the jam out to all corners making sure it's nice and even. And we're just going to set this aside while we work on our crumble mixture. With our remaining dough and with some clean hands what I want you to do is use your fingers and thumbs and we're just going to rub the mixture together until we start getting nice little nubbly bits of dough coming together. You see how that's starting to come as little nubbly bits. Some bits are big, some bits are small. Just keep doing that until you get a nice little bowl of bits. But all we need to do now is scatter this over the top of our slice. Now as you can see I haven't completely covered it. You can still see a bit of jam poking out. That's perfect. Right, all we need to do is pop this into our oven. Preheated oven, 180 degrees Celsius, about 360 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to bake this for about 20 to 25 minutes or until the crumble mixture on top is nice and golden. 
While our slice is in the oven, I thought I'd take this opportunity to remind you to check out my social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links in the video description underneath this video on YouTube. And speaking of YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell next to it. That way you won't miss out on any of my new videos. Our slice is fresh out of the oven and you can see it's lightly golden on the top. Now before we do anything, a word of warning. Our jam layer is superheated from the oven. It's almost twice the temperature of boiling water, which means you can't eat it straight out of the oven. You can't even touch it. It'll scold you really badly. So you need to leave this by itself on the counter for at least 20 minutes to cool before you go any further because you don't want to risk a burn, trust me. So just leave it in the tin, on a chopping board, or just on the countertop for 20 minutes, allow it to cool. Once cooled, I'm just going to dust this with a little bit of icing sugar. And using a sharp knife, I'm just going to cut this up into squares. And here we have some of our completed jam crumble shortbread slices looking absolutely gorgeous. See that jam oozing down the side there? That beautiful layer of crumble on top? I can't wait to dive in and have a taste. These look absolutely amazing and the jam smells gorgeous. Now, when these come out of the oven, you'll notice that the shortbread layer is a little bit soft, mainly because it will firm up as it gets cooler. But because this is still warm, it's a little bit soft, so I wouldn't be at all surprised if this breaks when I try to pick it up, but I don't care, I desperately want to try it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god, that's yummy. Mmm. <laughs> First thing it hits you, is the shortbread itself. It's wonderfully crumbly, as a good shortbread should be. It's buttery, it just melts a second it hits your tongue. Then you've got that lovely warm jam layer on there. Strawberry jam, you can't go past a classic. And then you've got the crumble on top. It's got these little nubbly bits that just add that extra butteriness and richness to it. It looks strange, but it is absolutely delicious and I guarantee one try of this and you'll be making it time after time after time. Well I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com and until next time, see you later. The great thing about this slice, aside from being ridiculously easy to do, is it's really adaptable. You can use any flavour of jam or jelly you like with it. You can also change it up and use different spreads instead. You don't have to use jam. If you want to go for something richer and chocolatier, you could use a chocolate hazelnut spread like Nutella instead. You could mix a combination of peanut butter and honey and spread that over the surface. That's a really tasty combo. Or, if you want to go old school, you can swirl together peanut butter and your favourite jam or jelly and make a PB&J crumble slice. It's really simple, it's very adaptable. Let me know in the comments section what flavours you're going to make with you make this one. I reckon there's going to be some amazing combos out there and I can't wait to hear about them.